Van Gogh Sunflowers Vincent Van Gogh was born in Holland in 1853 and died in France in 1890. He is considered one of the most famous artists there ever was. Van Gogh did not start out to be an artist, but tried many different occupations first, including selling art, working in a bookstore, and being a preacher. He was not particularly good at any of these things, so he finally decided that he wanted to be an artist. Vincent made many friends in the art world, including another painter by the name of Gauguin. Gauguin was impressed by early works done by Vincent, especially the sunflowers. Gauguin and Vincent became good friends over the years. Vincent had a dream of establishing an artist community in the city of Aries in the south of France. To accomplish this dream, he bought a house where a group of artists would live and discuss their art. He called this house the Yellow House. Vincent tried to convince fellow artists to join him, but only one accepted his invitation. It was his good friend, Gauguin. To celebrate his arrival, Vincent painted a series of sunflower paintings to decorate Gauguin's room at the newly established Yellow House. Vincent even used these paintings as a color study in yellow to show that he could paint an entire painting in one color and nothing else. The sunflower was his way to show gratitude. Vincent loved the sunflower and wanted the flower to be associated with him, and they were. People even brought sunflowers to his funeral to honor his life and his work. There is so much to see in a Van Gogh painting. If you get the chance to see one in real life in a museum, you will notice how thickly he applied the paint. Sometimes, Van Gogh didn't even use a paintbrush because that would take too long or smooth out the paint too much. At these times, he would use the palette knife to apply the paint directly to the canvas. It is so thick that you can see these paint lines in the photographs of the paintings. This creates texture on an otherwise flat picture. Notice how the plain backgrounds are filled with paint lines and variations of tone. Some areas are a little darker and some a little lighter. Also, notice the bold circle shapes of the flowers. Van Gogh shows us the flowers very close up so they are filling the entire picture. Notice the dabs of white and other light colors to highlight the lines of the flowers. The flowers themselves are not perfect representations of perfect flowers.